I wanted to do a video on the Emerald Finsbury A5 that I got on eBay. And here it is with my pink pocket uh, Rio that I'm using as a wallet. That is working out very well. So since everybody was quiet, there's Ventura being quiet. And here's Ginger. She's snoring, so I don't know if that's going to sound like Darth Vader again, but she's out. Um, I should probably do a what's in my bag on that. It's a um, Longchamp LM um, in pinky gold. It's really a nice purse. It's huge, and I like the um, size of the straps. I don't like small straps but maybe I'll do that another time. This is the green, I think it was called Emerald, um, Finsbury in A5, and I couldn't help setting it up after I got it because I thought it was really pretty. Um, it has rings that are the same size as the Malden. On the front side it has a green coordinating fabric, which I think works a lot better than this coordinating fabric. It has a zipper pocket here that I don't, I don't have anything in because it's um, kind of, it's the whole length here and it's you know, not a gusseted pocket, so it's a little hard to get things in and out of. I don't really know what would be a good thing to put in here. I'm thinking maybe some stamps. Um, my son got me a Vera Bradley pen for Mother's Day, and it goes perfect. And it fits in this side. It does not fit in the other side. Uh, there's a clear mesh pocket. I just have some... Um, European money and a charm that I found that I thought was cute. These aren't my credit cards um, because I don't use this as a wallet. So I have all this random, all these random, you know, Filofax things that come in the uh, planners. Um, the thing that came from Paris. Oh, these are the. And two of the pins that came out of my dog's leg. Poor guy, right? This big one, I think, was the one that just backed right out. I, one day, there was just this sticking out of his leg. It was horrifying. Um, and here's some like, gift cards, I think, Sephora. Although, this may be empty. Um, back here... I have my, oh, I have an envelope. I think I need to do, like, a, a post on where I get my stationery and what Etsy shops I get the tape at and the stickers, because a lot of people ask me, so I might do that. I think this came from Puccimo. Um, I think it's P-U-C-C-I-M-O, but... I'm going to try to remember and do a post on these things. This is my address book. Um, I recovered it. I like it now. Um, in the beginning of here, these are postcards that I had made up from photography I had done. I don't really have anything to do with them, so I put them in the front to try to keep them in front of my mind and decide what I want to do with them if I reprint them. They came out so pretty. This was um, a picture my family took in Paris. I love this one. I did it of, um, it's Cape May, New Jersey. It's very close up of the, um, you know, foam on the, on the, at the end of the waves. I just love that picture. And this was a picture my son took at a museum in Paris. And this one's another shot of the Jersey Shore. 
and I like to do something with them, I just don't really know what, so I put them in the front to keep them first in my mind. Um, this is a fly leaf that I made from a, I think it was like a, um, a file folder, but it was made of plastic. And so cute. And these are the Martha Stewart by Avery tabs, and they come on a piece of plastic that is punched so you can put it in an A5, but I didn't find that really easy, so I've been taking them apart and putting two stickers on each. This one's books because I want to make a book wish list section. This one is food because I want to eventually do some kind of recipes section and this one's just sort of random but there's other ones in here um, that you can see just the regular file fact sheets and maps um, this one came with these dividers um, they're dated 2006 and they are not they are not the manila color or the black. There's, they're not gray. They're actually kind of silver. I'm not sure if you can see um, that effect when I, you know, move them. But they're so pretty, and I have never seen um, like silver dividers before. The um, A to Z section for me is working out really well. Um, under the letters, I put whatever fits there. So I have, um, these are A and B business cards. Um, this was, this is my book wish list, you know, for B. I'm not going to go through all of this. Um, oh, this is my page on amino acids. I'm trying to figure out what to take. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm doing. I I put random information in here, like I just put um, what steaks are good to grill, um, or I didn't put it in there yet actually, I wrote it in the back and I have to put it in there, what, how to grill steaks, what steaks are the best to grill, I'm going to put that under G. So this is really good because I don't have, um, like I don't have a need for a large section of anything, and this works really good plus I keep my business cards um, under the right letter I know I've shown this before this is the label for a Pellegrino water bottle and I just put it in here these are my dodo there's another fly leaf these are my dodo sheets I really still like them a lot this was the year on uh, two pages. This was a little hard to work with because the um, there's a lot of information in here and you can't really write over it. The um, Dodo is going to produce them in I think a lighter color ink so you can write over it. I like that. Um, I find this a little hard for me though. I, I'm expecting it to be either across or down and it's it's not this is um, July so I I tend to write things in the wrong place a lot and have to redo them um, I have all my dodo sheets and my to-do sheets I'm not really gonna go through all this because I have already um, this is out of that same folder that I made the fly leaf, I made a divider, and I like that a lot. I think it's really cute. Here's another one of these um, tabs I made out of the Martha Stewart by Avery. These are my success choice um, planner inserts. This is the monthly tasks. The month on two pages which is really nice I like the lines I like that there's lines here I like that a lot um, I'm, I'm having a giveaway it ends 
in two days, so if you want to um, enter that giveaway for credit on the Success Choice site, please go to my blog. As you can see, I have a lot of different kinds of things. I, I kind of took everything out of my Malden and just stuck it in here. So it's a little bit random, but I'm really all for using what works for you. And a lot of things work for me for a lot of different reasons. Um, I do all my daily to-do stuff on a graph paper, and that's been uh, perfect. Um, and then I'll write little things, um, weekly things, if there's an appointment on the dodo sheets. I know this is um, a little too colorful for some people. I just find it easier for me to focus when it's like this. I can't really explain that. I think it's probably because it keeps me interested in doing it. And the color, even though I don't designate you know, one color for one thing and another color for another thing, just the, the brightness keeps my mind um, moving around the page and I'm more likely to see what I've done even though there's no real rhyme or reason to the color. Um, yeah, my goal for this month was to stay off the scale, just do the um, plan that I'm doing and stay off the scale and that pretty much failed after one day. I, I don't know what it is about weighing myself and I really need to stop. Um, Ginger likes to walk over my pages and my computer and when she does she always rips them so I have these page dots. The problem with her walking across my computer is she gets on it and then pauses and changes some kind of setting and I have no idea what she changed because I have no idea what she did and it wasn't something I was ever planning on doing and I've had to do system restores to get the computer back to the way it was before she walked across it. Um, this is um, this ink, this gold ink, is was in the ink drop, a uh, Goulet ink drop this month, and it's kind of a strange color. Actually, it's gold, almost like a touch of green to it, um, which to me kind of makes it goldish. But it's much better as a highlight than it is to actually write with. Um, it's coming off more contrasted here than it looks like on the paper. So to write a letter or um, notes in this is a little difficult. Um, and this was the, from also from uh, Goulet. I can't remember who made it. It was in an ink drop in maybe May and it's rose scented and I love it. I read the reviews on it and some people said they couldn't smell the the rose, but I've used this to write letters and people who receive them still smelt the rose, so, and I think it's really beautiful. Um, this is a ruler. I, I used that same folder and actually covered a Filofax ruler because in the end this was just a little too flimsy for a ruler. So the back looks pretty cute. The front looks pretty good. The back is pretty much a mess here because I just used washi tape. Um, the other thing I had done to this ruler is I put a small hole in it so I could um, hang some cell phone charms off it and I really love these cell phone charms. Um, I, punt I punched a hole using a hole punch in another ruler and the hole was just too big so for this one I took a um, sort of a thick sewing needle maybe an embroidery needle and I punched just, I had to do it a couple times, and I did it just big enough to get the this through, and this works out much better. I think it looks a lot better than just having a big hole in that. I had done this before with a ribbon, um, so I could have a ribbon marker, but I just didn't like that gigantic hole in it. So with this one, you can't really see it. The hole is only big enough for these to get through. These are some more pages. I still use 
this um, that I it's the back of a notebook and the notebook had an elastic I like um, being able to sort of corral the pages that are have you know the dates that haven't come up or some extra paper because I'm always looking for something in my file of facts and when it's like this much stuff it's hard to get through so I know I don't need to get through any of this um, these are just random pockets that I have all kinds of stuff in things I I cut off of other things um, labels and tabs this was this was the front of a something that stickers came in and I like this better a lot a lot better than I do some of the stickers actually I just like the design um, here's some more of this kind of stuff <sighs> receipts from Paris another little tiny thing I just think that's adorable more and I have some things I have to put in here too more some this was the um, bullet pencil from Midori the directions it's pretty simple but I kept them and I want um, Ventura Ventura took a uh, obedience level one and two and I want him to take the canine good citizen also so I have the book here to try to keep in mind what um, he needs to learn and here's another pocket ready to fill up and another fly leaf just at the end actually I think I have two two fly leaves at the end um, this back is set up just like a Malden because the leather is a stiffer leather uh, than the Malden, less pouchy. Um, it's a little bit harder. I, I had a ton of stuff in the back of my Malden, but this is pretty lays pretty flat, and I don't want to rip the edges, so I haven't. I don't have anything back there right now. I wish it had this long pocket, like the a long, sorry I have to move, my legs falling asleep. I wish it had a long pocket back here like the Finchley because that was perfect for putting an extra notebook in. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff in it, it really does. Um, you can see from the side, it closes fine. It's I can't remember how old. It's at least five or six years old by uh, date, and it was really in good shape. It's got a couple of nicks. And I don't really mind stuff like that at all. Um, it's sort of like used and beautiful. So, there it is. And there it is, uh, size-wise, with a pocket. I love these things sticking out. They're so cute. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> um, so I didn't wake her up. I didn't wake him up. And I'm really sorry that I just dropped the camera. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.